The reading is from Acts chapter 2, verses 1 to 21. When the day of Pentecost had come, they were all together in one place, and suddenly from heaven there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues as a fire appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. And all of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other languages as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each of them heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear, each of us, in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and res residents of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Bigeria and Pamlifia, Egypt and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs. In our own language, we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. And all were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, What does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them. Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk as you would suppose, for it is nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy, and I will show portents in the heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness, and the moon to blood, before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. The scripture we just heard is one which is often used in the context of celebrating Pentecost. What does this story say to us in the context of Palestine and Israel? This journey through the Easter season has taken us through some of the complexities of what's happening in Palestine and Israel. Pentecost leads us into action and spreading the gospel of love. In regards to Palestine and Israel, Pentecost leads us to ask how we can work to address some of these issues. What are some of the dynamics of talking about and working for peace in Israel and Palestine? In 2009, Palestinian Christians wrote the Kairos document and shared it with the world. This document invited Christians to support peace and work, work against the illegal practices of the Israeli government. One of the largest concerns, as you heard in previous videos, is the illegal settlements. How does structural inequality affect Palestinians and Israelis? From the Kairos document, the United Church is participating in the Unsettling Goods Campaign, which promotes avoiding products that come from illegal settlements. These products we are being asked to avoid financially support the illegal settlements and divert income and productivity from Palestinians. You might also consider purchasing fair trade products like Zetun, which directly support Palestinians. What's one thing that you will do to make a difference? <laughs> 